One feature I like about Navionics is the information it provides. Um, we're coming up to look for an anchorage somewhere to stop in Dominica. And I found this bay here, uh, zoomed in, and there's the pink anchor signs you can see here, which means anchor is available. Looking at the depths, and then there's a note here, the green, the green note, the anchor note. And we get that right, you can put your crosshairs on it and you can read information. So, Rousseau. Uh, Rousseau is far more to see in land than Portsmouth, so it's worth stopping here. Clearing at customs, and then it tells you the area is very deep and it's fringed with a shoal ground shelf which drops off sharply. Many moorings available. Just pick one up and they'll come out and collect the duties. So, I think that's what we'll do. These are people's reviews and you can scroll down, there's information and there's uh, more reviews. You can write the reviews, great stop. They're really very useful and uh, I use those a lot. So you press across to clear. So that I think is where we're gonna anchor or we're gonna pick up a mooring boy. So I'm gonna drop a little anchor there. So you put the, you put the cross there, you click on the question mark and then you can see you can put a marker. So you click on marker and then scroll up to put your anchor. You click on anchor and then go save. And you look back and there's your anchorage. And it's really handy when you zoom out, you can see the markers you put very clearly. And that's where we're going to anchor. So I'm very fortunate to be cruising in the Caribbean and we are going from Martinique today up to Dominica. I looked earlier this morning at anchorage places and I dropped an anchor marker near all these anchorages on the west coast of Dominica, shelter from the easterly winds we get here. Um, it's late afternoon now, it's half past three and I'm looking to see how long it's going to take me to get there. So I'm just going to do a manual route. If you go down the bottom and press route. The menu comes up and you select manual. Um, up in the top left hand corner it says choose starting point. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select current position. So from where I am and then I'm going to zoom into where I want to go to. I'm going to come off this lighthouse. I'm going to put my finger, press and hold and put a point there. And then I want to come into this bay here. So I'm going to press and hold, put a finger point there. And then from there I'll have visibility. So I want to come in a little bit further, so I just pick up, hold on it, and move it to there. That looks good. And I'm going to press go. From there, I can see my route. If I want to have a look at the route details, select route details. And here I can see it's 22 miles. It's going to take four hours. I've got a cruising speed of five and a half knots set in my Navionics, so at five and a half knots it'll take 22 hours, but we're currently doing about seven. Uh, and there's the waypoints distances, uh, which is really good. Press a little cross and return back to the screen. Yeah, uh, nice and simple. Tonight I'm at Anchor, at Dominica, and tomorrow we're going to set sail or Guadeloupe and then eventually we're heading to Antigua. Uh, so I'm looking for a route tomorrow. You can zoom around Navionics with two fingers as you usually do on maps, zoom in and zoom out. So I'm looking for a route, I'm going to put a route in. You can see we're right tucked in right close here into this anchorage and mooring boy area. Uh, I'm zooming out to get a good view of where I want to go and then I'm going to put a route in. So if you touch the route uh, at the bottom here and press manual, you can start a route. Up in the top left corner, it says choose starting point. If you click on that and click current position, yeah, it'll be from my current position. And then I'm going to zoom out and add some points. So you just press and hold on the screen and a waypoint appears. 
spots. And then I'm going to zoom out, leaving a little way off the coast. We want to go up the coast tomorrow so we can have a good look. I'm looking around the area to see that there's no rocks or anything. I'm going to place another waypoint there. I'm going to zoom out again. So I'm going to zoom out again and move further up the coast. I'm going to put a little one in here as well so I can move, move and play around with that one. Zooming out. All right, I'm going to go across to the next headland, put a point in here. Just pressing and holding the screen and it'll build a route for you. Another point in here. And if you put a few in, you can drop and drag them about. Here we go, another one here. And then as we clear the top of this island, I'm going to put one in here. One across there. And then we come to the end of Guadalupe. Zooming in, a little way off the lighthouse, another one there. And let's have a look, another one here. And then going up the side of Guadalupe, up there. And the anchorage I looked at earlier, which I quite fancy, is just in here. So I'm going to put one waypoint there. That's it. If I press, I can either press save and it will save it, um, or go and it will start. You can see it's 68 nautical miles in length. And I have a setting in here that says that I cruise at five and a half knots, so it'll take me 12 hours. I'm going to go save. There you go. So the route's saved. How do I find it again? Well, if you press on route, and you can see the options for my route, my route archive. So you go in there, and there it is. It's route number six, I created it today, and if I click on that, it'll bring up the route. So I can see the route on the screen, I can zoom into it, and I can check it's okay. That looks okay. If for any reason I don't like it, it's always, always a good idea to zoom in really close and just follow the route. I always zoom in and follow the route and check there's nothing at lower level zooms that will cause a hazard. I can zoom out again. If I, if I think, oh, that's a bit close to the headland now, I want to move it. You can press and hold on your waypoint and drag it out to where you want to and save it again. And the route's changed. You press root again. Uh, have a look at my route archives. There it is, route number six. Press on it. The other thing that you can find is the route details. So you press root again. Go to the details, and there you'll have all the details of the route. Uh, 68 nautical miles, 12 hours, and then there's the distance and bearing between all the waypoints. One feature, it took me a while to find actually, but if you go back into the route as I have just done, and you want to change the name, you can click on the right in there, delete route six, and call it, not, uh, call it wherever you like. Um, I'm going to call it Domica to G U A T. Dominica to Guadeloupe. And press return and that's saved. Uh, and that's my route for tomorrow. There we go.